Hey everybody, Gabe here from Team Genius. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to score players in our mobile app. Your first step will be downloading the Team Genius mobile app. It's completely free and is available on both iOS and Android devices. Once you have the app downloaded, you'll want to type in your name, email, and the access key provided to you by your organization. In this case, I'm going to use the sample access key, Soccer. Your organization's Team Genius admin can find their access key by looking at their assessment homepage on the back end of Team Genius. Upon login, you may be asked to select an evaluation session. If that's the case, look through your session options and choose the session you will be evaluating today. If you're unsure, please ask your organization's Team Genius admin. If you ever want to go back to a previous page in the app, you'll want to click into the top left-hand corner. In the top left in this case, you'll also notice you can view and select a player pool that you have access to. In the top left, you can bulk select or individually select or deselect players. In the lower right corner, you can find a filter and sorting button so you can view a specific position or evaluation group or sort players by number, last name, evaluation group, or position. Once you've selected your filter, you can click the green check mark to proceed. If you swipe down on the screen, any recently checked in players will be added into your app. If you need to run check in from the app, you will see a green plus in the lower left corner where you can sign in, but keep in mind not everyone has access to this. Lastly, on this page, you can easily capture player profile pictures by clicking the photo icon on the right side of each player's name. Remember that while scoring players do not require an internet connection, capturing player photos does require a strong connection. Once you have the proper players selected, you can click start to select your proper scoring form. Now you're ready to start scoring players. You can find your list of players to score in the top left corner with two different views in your app. The player view, which is best if you're scoring one player at a time, or the criteria view, which is best if you're scoring one drill or one criteria at a time. In the player view, you can once again find the sort button at the bottom of your screen. To score a player, you can simply grab and scroll the circle under each criteria and once the score is entered, you may see a green check mark in the top right corner up here. That green check mark is letting you know that that score saved to your device. And if you are connected to the internet, that score will now save to your administrative dashboard. To delete a score, you can easily swipe to the right and click the delete icon. To add a comment, you can click the comment box and type in your comment. Many coaches also like to use the voice comment feature, which is in the lower right corner. And you can find any pre-added comments your organization added under the plus button in the lower right corner of the text box. Some of you may see the video icon where you can capture a video or photo of your athletes going through a drill or performing a certain skill. And you can also find any further instructions under the eye icon to the right of the video icon. If you have multiple scoring forms to choose from, you can click the clipboard icon at the bottom to switch between scoring forms. And you can use the voice dictation feature at the bottom to switch between players, criteria, or scoring forms by speaking that player's number, criterion, or scoring forms. 28. You can also move between players with the arrows at the bottom. And if we move over to a different scoring form, you'll notice we can capture quantitative criteria in a similar way with a stopwatch function available for timed criteria. As you progress through your evaluation process, you'll notice the percentages at the left of each player's name and number. That percentage shows you what percent of each player's evaluation is complete. Once you're ready to exit, you can do so in the top left corner And some final thoughts, as mentioned earlier, if you do not have an internet connection, your scores will save locally on the device, but you will want to make sure you open the app once you're reconnected to the internet so the scores can properly sync. 
Keep in mind, if you prefer to score players on your computer, you can do that at eval.teamgenius.com. That's all for this video. Thanks for taking a look and good luck with your evaluations.